hey guys welcome on my youtube channel everything technical this is deepak so in this video we will see how we can uh, install how we can install nrp in our client location and how we can monitor what configuration we have to do after the installation of nrp into the client to mon monitor through the nagios so we will see in this video so before i started i want you to please do subscribe my youtube channel this is my channel everything technical and also please press the bell icon to get the new video notification and if you have any query any suggestion related the video so please do comment below the video so let's start with the video so here basically I have a server this is my Nagios master so I want to monitor I want to monitor my this server which is in AWS so I want to monitor this so uh, this client uh, this server services into the Nagios so I have this Nagios basically this is the server where it is uh, installed the master so master is installed under this server so I want to monitor this server basically this server in this so what we have to do what configuration it's required what packages it's required so we will see in this video so let's start what packages it's required so first of all just go into your uh, the client server so in client server you have to install first of all your uh, required packages that is gd oh sorry yum installed i'll use here hyphen y gd uh, gd devil open ssl open ssl devil uh, net net post fix net snmp snmp and then we have uh, open ssl done then we have make yes make we have make we have glibc glibc hyphen command sorry common common so I'm just going ahead with this packages only so here one more GCC also so I'll install these packages before installing so this is saying this packages is already installed so you have to just install these packages into your client server after this you have to download the uh, NRP NRP package from the URL so I'll go ahead into the browser so here I have already the nrp 3.2.1 so I'll download this so I'll go into the client so I'll use the command wget so wget I'll put the I'll put here the URL so wget so this is get downloaded now I'll just extract this so I'll use the command tar tar zxf and I'll put this so I'll check here so this is an NRP so I'll use the command CD now I'm in this directory after in this directory what commands do you have to fire after this you have to just fire the command configure uh, configure hyphen hyphen enable command dogs O M N A N D command A R G S. So this is the command first you have to fire here. So I have fired this command. After this command, we have to install. Uh, we have to fire few more commands. That is make install, make ins install group users. So these are the commands which we have to fire uh, after uh, to install the NRP into the client. So this can be take a few minutes and there is a fast process also. So this is done now. So after this, I will do make install sorry make all so I have installed make all and after firing this command we have to install group and make install hyphen groups and users hyphen users so I'll use this command after this is saying like you have already uh, this nagus is already exist as a group and user so after this uh, we have to do the command make install now this is a command make install here and after this we have to install one more package that is called make install hyphen config so 
after doing this sorry there is something wrong so install the spelling is wrong so install so after this we have to uh, enter the entry we have to put uh, entry inside of the ETC services so that uh, that is NRPE five triple six slash TCP inside of the ETC. So I'll use this. Okay, ETC services. So I have given the I have redirected it to the ETC services this particular entry, and after this we have to uh, just enable the services system CTL. I'll use the command system CTL enable nrpe dot service so I have enabled the nrp services not what we have to do uh, I have to just pass the entry into the IP table so I'll use the command IP tables IP table IP tables hyphen I input input hyphen p port that is TCP TCP hyphen hyphen destination hyphen port so after this give the port and hyphen j accept so I have done with this now my NRP is installed under the client location what we have to do after this we have to install the plugins also after after installing NRP so because uh, after installing NRP, we have uh, also required a plugins of all the Nagios plugins, Nagios plugins which we which uh, which will use to the when monitor the Nagios to this uh, client location NRP location. So that time it's required that packages to communicate each other. So for that we have to use again the command. I'll use the again command wget wget sorry wget and give the nrp this is so i have already nagus plugins here so i'll use this url i'll copy this link url and i'll put over here so nagus plugins getting installed getting download sorry so this is downloaded so i'll just extract this so star is that a and paste this so now I'll check Nagios plugins so here I have Nagios plugins so I'll go ahead I'll do the CD so after doing CD just put this part so after this just use the command configure and after configure we have to few, uh, fire few more commands that is make make install and we have to change the ownership of that particular GSR local Nagios directories and recursively. So I'll use the command configure now. After the configure, I'll use the command make and make install. So wait till that time this get this will get completed. So this can take. Uh, little bit of time this can take it depends so it's done make install I'll use make make and then make I'll use make install so this is for this time this is I'm I have installed I, I have fired the command make and then I'll after that I'll use the command make install so this is getting ready so I'll use the command make install I am install so I have used this command make install now finally I'll use the com uh, I'll use the permission ch on hyphen r nagus dot nagus where us are local nagus so I have changed the ownership of this all these directory which is under nagus so what we have to do we have to just edit one file that is called vi usr local nagus etc under etc we will get nrp.cfg so in nrp.cfg we have to put two details 
so we will check which two details is required so first is allowed host so here in allowed host put the IP address 0 dot so I'll also I can use I can remove this so I'll use the IP address of the Nagios master so here I have Nagios master so I'll give the IP address of this Nagios master here so I have passed the IP address here and what after that after that we will get one more configuration line that is don't blame NRP as a zero just replace it with one and save this configuration file so I have this I have saved this configuration file what we have to do I'll just start this service sorry before starting I'll we have to do one more configuration under the Nagios master so in Nagios master go into the USR local Nagios etc object so this is the location where is default installation of all files and configuration is here so we have host so you can check here host we have this configuration file so first of all I'll go ahead into the local host.cfg so in local host.cfg we can see here uh, the configuration file so in my first video what is Nagi is there I have already uh, explained what configuration file it's required what configure configuration it's required to do into the Nagios master and in clients so we will check here so first of all we have to define host here so here I'll define the host so in define the host I'll give the IP address here so now here we have to put the IP address of client so here I have a client server so this client server we have to define the sorry this is the client server so I'll have to define this IP over there so I'll put the IP address here I'll give the alias name as a test and here also I'll give the name as a local host as a test test now after this I'll save this file I have saved this file I'll go into the client so I'm in client I'll restart I'll start the NRP service system CTL start NRP so I have started NRP PSEF pipe coap NRP so I'll check it okay NRP is running here I'll go into the master now so this is master I'll reload the Nagios reload us so I'll go into the browser so here I'll check so this is the Nagios now here it is showing is in pending status so this will take uh, one or two minutes to this is depends on the duration last check uh, it's depend on the checks uh, how many times it's set up I had done the setup into the configuration so according to that this will check and this will show the status over here so I'll check it here the services so you can see here 2 is up so host is up so you can see test server is up now I'll configure one more service so I'll go into the master now nothing to do with the NRP sorry incline just go into the master and I'll go in same location and I'll just define one more service so that service will call so where it is so I'll just define this only so I'll copy this copy define service I'll define the service so here basically I'll go ahead and insert I'll paste and nothing to do anything here just change the host name either don't do th don't do this entry I'll go ahead and undo this here host name just put the host name after local host into the comma separated so I'll go ahead and here I'll use test I'll go ahead and save this so after doing this I'll reload again after reloading we can check it into the this so it is showing like in pending so we can check it sorry we can go ahead into the services so here is coming test is coming now ping status is showing under pending status so we'll check it uh, we'll check it how many time how much time it take to the pending to other state and before that we will configure one more service in this so I'll go into the master again 
I'll open the configuration here I'll go into the services so here we have services so in services we have a partition monitoring so I'll go ahead edit and I'll pass the host name only so this is test so I'll I have already passed the test so I'll save this and again we have to reload so I have reloaded the Nagios now we have to check so I'll check so two status in two services in point are now in pending status so we'll check so one ping is showing like packet loss in this so basically what is reason behind it because ping uh, ICMP port is not open into the security group of the server so first of all we have to open that then it can be a that 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 time it will monitor that ping status because it it's showing in a monitor monitoring so packet loss is zero percent rd is this so this is server is um uh, so we will see first the root partition because this is showing root partition is up for the local host now we want to check root partition is showing what status for the test server for the client server so we will see here so we'll check here and more important thing first of all just uh, make sure uh, you are just whitelisting this IP address the Nagios IP address Nagios master server IP address this IP address into the client security group uh, in IP tables in firewalls we can see simply we can say simply because this is the AWS so in AWS we have a security group so in security group we have to model list this IP address of the master so here we have a security group so in security group I have already given all traffic to this IP address so here this this IP this port also required this type of the protocols also required and also we have to open the custom TCP for the 5666 for that particular server so do this because if you if you if you are not doing this so on that time you are be n you are be not able to monitor the servers so basically this is the server so please do subscribe and also please comment below the video if you like my video please hit the like button to like this video and also don't please don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel this is my channel everything technical and share with your friends who having requirement this kind of the information so we'll check one more time uh, what we was looking for so now you, we can see here there is showing this space it is in ok status so now thank you for watching